Hey, Dr. Vong here. <clears throat> I'm at one of my favorite restaurants in New Mexico. It's called Farm and Table. And uh, during growing season, they get a lot of their produce from a micro farm that's connected to the uh, restaurant. And I'm just work walking it here at sunset. Right behind me, you see these bushes here. I'm pointing to them. Most likely that's sunchote. And uh, this is asparagus right here, this little row here. It's pretty cool. And they've got uh, this hoop house here to keep the heat off some of these guys. They got some plantings going over here, okra and sunflowers and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. And um, this is my first week uh, not being a surgeon um, where I'm not gainfully employed by a, a medical facility. So um, there's one, there's a secret about Dr. Vong that I don't, most people don't know, but by nature, I'm a, a very lazy guy, believe it or not. Back in, uh, growing up as a teenager, and, and even though I was academically very excellent, I, I was still very lazy. I could sleep in all day long if I wanted to, I, and I did many times, especially in college. So um, I have ha I've had to learn through the years on how to like fight against my nature so I can be productive. And um, I was just, I've been very nervous, quite honestly, what I would be like now that I don't have a regular surgeon's routine. You know, I, I worked really hard for the last five years at Loveless to try. That's a beautiful little stage. They do performances and meditation and stuff here. But anyway, I, uh, for the last five years, I've worked really hard to try and uh, set up a system where uh, my life is very routine so that way I can be excellent in my job and you know what happens in the operating room is very predictable uh, for me and my patients so I've been a little bit nervous wondering what I was going to do uh, now that I'm not no longer operating and you know I've, I've had to set systems in place quite honestly uh, so that I wouldn't resort back to my lazy ass nature right so I have a productive activity planner etc I get up believe it or not my alarm goes off at 4:55 every morning I'm eventually gonna get that knocked back to 430 I found this great journal this productivity planner um, and and uh, it sets out my day and what to do it's different than any other product uh, productivity planner or journal I've ever seen it's really really excellent maybe I'll show you a demonstration um, about it here in a second or in a different video but what I want to show you, I'm gonna, there's some hay barrels, <laughs> a little hay behind me, I'm going to sit down. So what I want to um, <clears throat> share with you uh, through this journey as you guys see me evolve is that I'm going to teach you, I'm going to teach everybody, not just the obese patients. Obviously, I'm very good at talking to the obese person, but my methodologies and strategies can work on anybody um, in any aspect of their life if they want to like break free from unwanted um, routines, things they hate doing, start over because they f screwed up their life like I did and uh, had to start all over again and then just be more, be more of uh, what you know you're meant to be, you know? So those are the strategies that I'm going to try to lay on the whole world. And you know, I'm just going to tell you I'm super excited, I've relaunched my um, long-term success online course it's really the shit man it's really good I forgot how good it was because I had shelved it for a while because it didn't really sell but I, I think that's on me I didn't really know how to really encourage all to check it out because a lot of people thought it was for weight loss surgery but it really applies to everything and I've got this great sell on it right now you really got to check it out but it gives you so many of the strategies that I have used to make my patients super successful that I'm currently employing in my own daily routine post-surgery so that I, I could be super excellent. Anyway, um, I'm a little bit nervous about this restaurant. You know, this farm's not producing as well as, as it used to, so I'm kind of curious how, how they're gonna adapt and change. You know, maybe they need my systems. I don't know, we'll see. All right, just wanted to show you a short video. I'll see you next time, bye.